Hey, it's Jang here from rcmania.com and ultimatercom and this is the SEMA S107G three-channel micro helicopter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it for you a little bit here and tell you that this is, in my opinion, for the money, the best helicopter you can get. It is a three-channel design, which means you get up, down, turning left and right, and independent forward and reverse control. The foundation of the helicopter is a metal-based chassis. By building it out of metal, they're able to create parts that are more precise, more smooth running, and more consistent. Back on the tail boom, you have a direct drive, vertically oriented tail rotor, which gives you your forward and reverse flight. It's a coaxial design, which means you have twin counter-rotating main blades, and these are free-floating. They actually balance themselves out once they get spinning. Having them freely hinged like this helps to reduce damage in the event of a crash or just hitting something lightly on the side. Now the controller is nothing special. You've got your throttle on the left and over on the right you have left right or yaw control as well as up down which is the pitch control for forward and reverse flight and you can move it in any direction. On the back behind this door is a charging port. You hook that up to your helicopter and you can charge it directly but you don't have to use this. They also include this USB adapter that plugs right into your helicopter. It allows you to charge your helicopter from your computer practically for free. You don't have to use up those AA batteries that are in the controller. They were even generous with the amount of wire they included. Now let's see it fly. Stability, precision, and finesse. Those three things are what flying the S107G is all about. Where you want it to go, it goes. When you want it to stop, it stops. The movement is smooth when you want it to be, and truly robotic when you want it to be more crisp. Even landing and taking off from an uneven surface, something that's not perfectly flat and not perfectly hard, is no sweat at all. Here are a few more takeoffs and landings from a cushioned cloth surface. No other low-cost helicopter I've ever tested could actually do this. Normally, when they take off, they start to tilt to one side. And oftentimes they'll fall over when they land or before they get in the air. Or, if you're able to make a successful takeoff from such a soft surface, it usually takes a few seconds and some real wrenching of the controller to get it back into stable flight.
SEMA S107G is available at countless online retailers and some brick and mortar stores as well. Be sure to look for the one that has the G in it, that's the gyro stabilized one. And also be sure to read my full impressions in the review at rcmania.com.